Welcome to the library's two minute tip. Today I'm going to walk you through the difference between a peer reviewed journal and a popular magazine. At some point you're going to get an assignment that requires that you use peer reviewed sources. And you're thinking, I'm using the library, isn't anything I find in the library good? Yes, but some resources are better than others. Magazines like Time, Sports Illustrated, and Business Week are popular magazines and they're written for the general public. Articles in popular magazines are relatively short. They contain glossy photographs and advertisements. They're written in everyday, simple language, and they tend to have broad coverage. They contain few or no references. The authors may be staff writers, and usually not experts about the topic, but they will interview experts. A trade publication is a publication that are written by professionals for other professionals, and usually for the purpose of keeping them up to date on current events. Scholarly journals contain articles that have been written by experts and they've been reviewed by other experts in the field and then published. Articles in peer-reviewed journals are longer, 10 or more pages. They'll have sections like literature review, methodology, results, and discussion. At the beginning of the article, they'll have abstracts, and at the end of the article, they'll have a number of references, 10 or more. Scholarly articles have no pictures, except maybe for charts and graphs that support the research. And some will have fancy titles, like the Journal of Aging and Human Development. Ultimately, the difference between popular magazines and peer-reviewed articles is like the difference between fine dining and fast food. It's the quality of the research. You're using research that is more reliable and it strengthens your argument. If you have more questions about whether or not the articles you're using are peer-reviewed, ask us. Seriously, that's why they pay us.